In this quick tip, we'll look at a real-world use of the Sonox Fraunhofer Codec Toolbox. This useful tool lets you not only audition codecs in real time, but actually do the encodes. Here on this TV queue, you can see we have a bit rate of 112 kilobits per second set to an MP3. Let's put that to 320. Back to 112. You'll notice here in the noise to mask ratio meter we're seeing some high frequency loss. A little bit less high frequency loss. And as we increase the bit rate, no high frequency loss. Note that you can also select other kinds of encoded files including iTunes and AACs. But in this instance the client wanted MP3s. The toolbox plugin itself should be on the last insert of your master fader. And this is used to audition the mixes. Here we can switch between the codec output and the input signal. Remember, we're just auditioning with this plugin. This button here launches the toolbox manager, which is where we're going to encode the mixes. On the left here is the folder browser area, which is where we can navigate to the files we want to encode. Now what I've already done is create a folder on my desktop with five mixes in it that the client wants MP3s of. TV client mixes, here it is. We'll select it. You can see they've shown up here. In the file list here, I can click on the files and listen to each one of them. Play that. Just click on the arrow and it'll play. Let's check the next one. Here I can look at the type of file and the size of each one. If I wanted to enter some metadata about each one, I could do it here. Simply by clicking on the file, I can select it. Or I can shift click and select them all for a batch encode, which makes things easy. Here the clip safe meter will prevent any clipping and this lets me know what kind of file I'm encoding and at what bit rate. By selecting the file we can look at some of the relevant data here. You can see our input size and eventual output size which is much smaller. So here I'll shift click the files and navigate to an output folder. You can see I've already made a TV clients mixes folder which has the mp3s in it because I encoded them just before. But let's select that anyway and have the toolbox encode them. So we hit the encode button It'll tell me the files already exist, but we'll replace them. We'll do it again. And there we go. You just let it encode. On the right, you can visually see that the processing for each file is underway. And it happens fairly quickly. We're already on number three of five, four of five. You can just follow along. And let it do its thing. There we go. There's the last file. We're just about there. And we're finished. We can go over here and select the file. And look at the MP3s. There they are. Notice the small file size. The toolbox did its job. It made me five high resolution MP3s with a small size. And that's it. Off they go to the client. It's that easy.